Hey guys, AJ here, Richardson Tree Farms. Got a little project we're doing today. I'm getting tired of seeing all my equipment stuff sitting out here in front of the barn, so we're going to move some stuff over here, and I've got a great big pile of gravel. And we're going to take make some nice little pad back through here and put a uh, put all the implements down here. And I guess this is kind of be phase one of the lean-to on the barn that we're going to be putting on here. So... Uh, just stay tuned. I got my youngest son here helping me today. Uh, so we're going to work on getting some of this stuff cleaned up. We'll have him throw. We got some wood just stacked up here that we use for uh, burning, you know, whenever we have a little, have a few friends over, stuff like that. We're going to take and get it thrown in the bucket. I uh, got some fresh stuff, you know, so we'll go put it on the pile back there. And I'm going to grab the forks. He's going to load the bucket up. And we're going to get some stuff done here. Try and get it done before it rains. So y'all stay tuned. We'll be with you. Riley over there firing up the big jacket. Now the one thing I learned about that, using it the other day to plow, do all that plowing and stuff, <laughs> power steering makes a big difference big difference. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all our stuff cleaned up through here. Um, and you, I just can't get over that tractor. I mean, 1957. And listen to it. Yeah. Now granted, the exhaust rotted off like where it goes down and out it rotted off right there so it's got a bit of a straight pipe on it you know gives it a I don't know like a Honda Civic kind of feel to it but listen to it that just that absolutely amazes me absolutely amazes me all right so anywho, back to this back to this. sorry got distracted um, so you can see we've still got some gravel down alongside here from whenever we Put the pad underneath the pole barn and all that good stuff leveled it out with some gravel so i'm gonna go through i'm just gonna scrape this top little bit of grass and kind of level this out a little bit and then we'll take our big pile over here spread it out and see what we can do as far as making us a pad down through here i'm actually really excited about this i've been waiting a long time for it so oh here check this out no power steering Bring it around over here. Look at him. Look at him crank that wheel. motor on that has never been rebuilt never been rebuilt as far as I know so I just got it I got it got it up and running still got a little miss here and there but that's okay it's okay
right, we got our spot leveled out back here. Whoop, holding the camera wrong. <laughs> Anywho, all leveled out somewhat, you know, got it down just below where I want it to be at, all the grass, all that good stuff's gone. It's getting a little breezy out because, like I said, we got a storm coming in here. So um, I think I've pretty well exhausted Riley's help here. So he's going to go up and play with the neighbor's kid. Uh, before you go, Riley, what does everybody always say when they end a YouTube video? Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. There you go. And the bell notification. So that way, you know, I post another video, you guys know about it. So, anywho, so what we're going to do now. Um, bye, Riley. Bye. We'll see you in a little bit. Yep. What we're going to do, I'm going to go through and we'll spread this out here. We're going to see what we can make out of this. Um, I hope it turns out good. I think it should. But uh, one thing, one thing in particular. Woo, well, that sun's bright too. One thing in particular. I don't have any counterweight on the back of this tractor. None. No ballast whatsoever. All I have is the fluid that's in the tires. Um, reason being... Working up next close to the barn here, I don't want to take a chance on turning and, you know, something, whatever implement I have on the back, hitting the side of the barn. That would be a bad thing. That would be a bad thing. Um, I just want to be able to concentrate on the loader itself. Now, if I was out, you know, doing the driveway or, you know, something else, you know, out in a little bit more open, I would put, the, uh, put something on the back there. That way I had a little extra counterweight. Because it does make a big difference. Uh, I won't be able to push, push as much without it, but I'll deal with it, make it work. So let's get some gravel moved here, guys. Okay, so that's a whole lot like work. So we're gonna do this the easy way. Somebody turned out all the lights. Now, just getting dark. Time to wrap it up. So here is what we have. That's about the. Uh, Roughly 15 feet wide. Got a good good layer, probably six inches all the way across it. Um, yeah, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. So, walk over here, we'll get a picture of it, and say our goodbyes. All in all, I think that'd be a good start. Be able to uh, put our little lean-to on there later on. At least right now, I've got a nice, clean spot to put all my implements and stuff. That's gonna be the main thing. So, um, that's going to conclude it for the evening. It's dark out. Can't do much more. Um, I hope you all can see me. Okay. Anyway. So, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I think last time, last video, I... What did I talk about? Oh, yeah, we did the soil samples. Um... Talked about the transplanter a little bit. Got it uh, pretty well done. It's just ready for paint. So, all in all, spring's here and we're starting to pick up progress. So, see you guys next time.